And that is the last time anyone will see this bus in this yellow school bus color. Welcome back everyone, today, well this video, not today, that'll be tomorrow, uh, we will be painting the bus. So, we are starting by masking everything on the side of the bus here, uh, mostly just the rails and some other pieces like the front of the bus, some windows in the back, uh, and then we're going to primer the whole thing, and then we will be painting the entire thing in this video. So let's get started. Well, we already got started, but the thing is, we're going to get started on finishing the taping. So, that's what we're gonna do. All the prep work's been done, it's been sanded down, it was washed last night, so it's completely dry. The only thing we need to do is tape, and then uh, primer. So, that's what we're gonna do. is fully primed. And now we need to start painting. And the paint is right here. That's the color. This kid loves the bus so much. All right, so we are painting today and uh, we are painting today. So we're gonna paint today. Um, so I messed up, not really, but maybe, let me explain. So it's not like I, uh, like, really hated the color that was on here the first time, I just didn't like it at all. So, maybe I did hate it, but what I'm trying to get at is that this new color is the color that I was hoping for when we first painted the bus, um, but I had that little swatch and it... Just, it looked better as a one inch by two inch piece, but when I put it on a huge bus like this, it just looked so much lighter. Um, so this is when I first painted it. Um, this was the night um, after we painted it, we painted in the morning. And then this was about like six days later. It did darken up a little bit, but every single time the sun hit it, like you can see here, it turned to like baby, baby blue, and I just wasn't happy. So I first did the hood, and the door. So this is what the hood looks like next to the old paint and I think it looks a thousand times better and I decided I'm gonna mask everything off and repaint it. I didn't do a lot of filming, I didn't really do much of any filming of repainting it because it was just it was the same process of painting it the first time. So repainted it, this is what it looks like now and I'm I'm just so happy with it. And now that it's finally painted, the, this is like a big milestone because now we can start putting things back on the bus, like actually assembling things that will be on the bus 
forever, essentially. Mirrors and lights and headlights and marker lights and kind of putting the door and the lock back on, um, putting things on the outside, eventually we'll get the new tires put on for the front and the back. We have the new tires for the front, painting those wheels and uh, yeah, it's just like, it's like a big step because we can finally like start, like I said, start assembling the bus back now, putting things back on, making it look like a bus again, um, and getting it in drivable condition so that I can start learning how to drive this damn thing uh, in a parking lot so that I don't hurt myself or others on the road. Not that I plan on that, but you never know. Yeah, so I just wanted to kind of explain why I repainted the bus and the whole reason behind it, and um, it was just like, I just, I was looking at it every single day and I just wasn't happy. And I know if like I second guess something, it might not be right. And if I like second guess it again, then I know for a fact I'm not gonna be happy. So I'm glad I made the change, I'm glad it's this color. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to putting this bus back together.